Good morning. Today we are visited by our shop owner, Jared. Good morning, Jared. Good morning. I would like to talk about pricing in the tattoo world and how it's affected, how we price things, and kind of what to expect. Um, I think this is a very complicated, in-depth question as far as our topic, as far as across the board pricing goes. And let me just start off. It's, it's rude as hell to tell a tattoo artist that they're too much or that's real expensive or whatever. Like just say, okay, thank you and move on. Right. I, I, I know you've heard me say this, but I compare it to me going test driving a Lamborghini and then complaining about the price because I can't afford it. I'm not going to leave a bad review for Lamborghini because they charge so much for their car. There's a reason they charge that, and I don't know what their overhead is or, or anything. So it's just rude as fuck, and just, just okay, thanks, and move the fuck on. But um, pricing varies the biggest because you have, generally, generally speaking, you have two different types of shops and artists. You have street shops and you have custom artists. Street shops typically aren't busy. I, I'm surprised a lot of people don't know this. Street shops are people kind of waiting to tattoo, and and you can walk in and chance are get it tattooed by somebody. A custom studio, they're going to be by appointment only, and they're going to be booked out weeks or months or years, and they're always going to be charging more. They're they're more in demand. They they're of higher talent. They probably have a, a formal art education, or they've spent a lot of time on the art, or, or a lot of time and money on their continued education, and their skill is just a lot higher. So, the pricing is going to reflect that. Um, the problem is when people get offended or want to talk about cheap or cheap and expensive, it's because they've been going to cheap artists. So then, like, oh, well, what the fuck? Why are they two hundred or three hundred dollars an hour? Some go five, six, seven. You know what I mean? Seven hundred dollars an hour. Like I've seen as high as eight hundred dollars an hour. So, and they get it all day every day because they're they're in demand that much that they're charging that and they're busy. So, people, some education would be nice and some respect would be nice. And um, but that's one of the biggest differences between those. The street shops are. They're just charging, you know, little flash tattoos. They're not spending a lot of time drawing and designing. That's another big difference. You know, if you're spending 30 hours drawing a sleeve and you're not charging for those hours, that's going to be added into the, the hourly cost, right? Like their hourly is going to be more expensive. They just spent, I've spent 40 hours doing a drawing. That's a, that's a work week. You know what I mean? So it's, uh, that's what I mean. It's, it's, there's a lot of facets. It's pretty pretty complicated as far as why there's such a big difference in pricing. The last part I want to touch on is a lot of tattoo artists are fucking horrible at business. They're fucking horrible at business. So we've broke it down, right? Like somebody charging $100 an hour, the, the general split for a, a tattoo studio is 50-50. It's sometimes 60-40, but usually 50-50. So you've, you figure 50% of that's going to the studio, not to the artist and the overhead of the studio. And then you have cost of supplies as well. And then you have liability insurance, taxes, right? So we broke it down at $100 an hour, and it came out to about $13 an hour is what the tattoo artist was making. Do you know what I mean? So, so not um, only is it time spent creating your piece, but also the talent and the efforts put into it, but also the cost to run a shop and supplies and inflation. This year, we know gloves have gone up astronomically as well. Yeah. So, um, there's a lot of factors into pricing, and I think um, it's important for people to know that there are quite a few factors when it comes to pricing. And like you said, if it's outside of your price range, it'd be more than polite to just say, thank you for your time, but this may not be for me. Yeah, and uh, speaking on inflation, Every year there's inflation, every single year. Yes, there's, there's been more recently, but if a tattoo artist isn't, any business, it doesn't matter the business, if you're not consistently raising your prices like everything else does, right? Like everything goes up, everything does, every year. Even if it's just a little bit to cover inflation. So if you're not charging more each year, then you're making less than the previous year. 
which again is really horrible business and you're going to eventually uh, not sustain or you're going to go out of business or you know a lot of tattooers can't even afford to buy houses they can't they, they don't have a retirement plan because they don't charge enough fucking money so, there's a lot of things to take into consideration and i do yeah. appreciate your time on this topic yeah, thanks